here in the garage working on the uh, snow blower because uh, well I thought it broke a belt they do that sometimes there because uh, just give you a gander of what's going on that belt looks a little tired well effects you get there with the uh, with all the cracks but until I, I go and get uh, matching ones um, what I did is instead of taking it all apart is uh, run a string to measure how long it is I'm gonna bring the string in for both the belts you get the two belts and then uh, but that wasn't really the problem as you see <clears throat> ended up putting the Loctite on the nut that fell off so I don't know people who make this don't have strong arms couldn't put uh, put the nut on right I guess well she vibrates pretty good can't blame uh, nothing but not having the, the right equipment while I was at it I ended up taking the, uh, the chain lube gave it the lube all on the inside there so Want that hill bigger? Yeah! Gotta fix that snowblower. No. What? Yes. Okay. No. I figured I'd turn the light on for the camera all on the inside for the gears, the planetary gears. Put the chain lube on that there. And uh, another thing I'm gonna have to change eventually is these uh, cables. I don't, know, I don't like the way it's designed there. These cables that go to your handles. But, uh, I'll have it fixed in, in a minute so the kids can keep on screaming and having fun. The Skidoo trailer, a little, little project for today, so keep on making the snow hill a little bit bigger. And yes, I did pull out the track sled, so be getting on that soon there. I also want to put some chains on the Put some chains on the, the kids ATV. So I'm gonna bring a race fish in there and she can run run the chains on the back. Just go up and down the ice. Be good enough. There's no snow because they plow the road, so but uh, that's what I'm working on today. Fixing up the snow blower, getting her going, I'm gonna do the lane way. So Have you ever wondered? It's not too hard to uh, to split apart a snow blower. It's only two bolts. And usually, if they make them right, this one wasn't made right. It's just these tiny little bolts. But usually, your last bolt is your hinge. So I don't know how they planned on this one hinging, but they thought about it. But they didn't follow through because I had to take the bolt out. So that's uh, that's how you get them apart. Two little bolts, your plastic cover. Well, this one I had to take the chute off. Normally you don't have to really take the chute off. So, but uh, we put her back together there and uh, and out in uh, winter wonderland. Do a little bit of snow removal. Alrighty, just about to tighten up the last bolt. Let's see if uh, get the movement out.
don't give you the angle to fucking get it in, huh? start ending all my videos like this but uh, I leave out a few things so you know put them in at the end like uh, the snowblower and I've been fixing that thing up and fixing it and fixing it but it's been little things after little things the cables break uh, cables break two cables ended up breaking uh, one them for the main drive and for the gear drive so you can switch gears and go reverse and then um, the nut ended up coming off the big pulley, so it didn't have no planetary gear. Couldn't go forwards, couldn't go backwards, there was no power. So, but, uh, should have known it might have been cursed since uh, the old guy I got it off of, when I went and picked it up, decided to suck up a carpet through it. So, yeah, but I think he was uh, snowboarder impaired, so he ended up uh, cutting some fingers off with a snowblower back in the 70s, so. 
Uh, not a good thing. But uh, hopefully not father like son because you're looking at the son. Yeah. Put a picture in the video there at the end. The old man and the daughter holding a trout. Look at those fingers. Not this snowblower I'm working on, but another one. But you, you got to learn. So that's why he's got the Argo and I got the snowblower. Alrighty. Hope you enjoyed the video.